Hello everyone. So welcome back to another episode in Unreal Engine skateboarding system. So today I am going to fix some of the issues we had in the last episode. For example, when I do this uh, pushing action with the foot, with the right foot, it tend to submerge on the ground. And also, so I'm going to fix that. And also, uh, my character always take the foot back on the board before starting another push. So as long as I keep the W or move forward button pushed, uh, pressed, the character will continue to do this push in action. And once I release it, the character will immediately take the right leg back on the board and also i have moved the front leg little backward on the board because i saw some comments so it's uh, it should be like that mm, right so let's see how to do those things and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me So in this skateboarding system, I have little problem. The problem is when my character uh, do this uh, pushing, uh, you can see the leg is kind of going below the ground. And also we need to fix that. And also when I keep pressing move forward button, the character should continuously do the pushing without putting it back on the board actually that happens because I am looping an animation um, let me show it this animation this one I am um, I keep uh, playing this in a loop so because of that uh, my character always get the foot back on the board before pushing again so we need to prevent that so right so to prevent the foot submerging on the ground what we can do is actually that happens because as I move forward the character moves down uh, bend forward and character's hip moves down so that's uh, what it makes character to submerge the leg so either we have to move the hip up when the character push or we have to uh, do some rotation in the right leg uh, to compensate for the moving down so easier solution would be moving up the hip when it do the pushing so right let's see Let's open the animation blueprint. And the hip moving down part happens in where? Here, pelvis, not here okay so we if we sh when we do the pushing if we make this alpha zero we can prevent that uh, submerging on the ground all right so what if we use we use this back foot alpha also just for testing for this
see now it's not submerged submerging on the ground no matter where we go let's see how it looks when you go in an uneven ground right it works better now okay that problem is fixed now the next problem is <clears throat> we need to continuously push forward when I keep pressing W so how do we fix that issue so if I show you the locomotion uh, yeah as I explained before I play this animation when I'm uh, when I press move forward button and when I press move forward button I go to this state basically see if the move forward is larger than zero then I go to that state so yeah how to make it push without taking a break so maybe I think we can use a montage based approach for this instead of using a state machine. So to use montages, let's add a default slot here. And A skateboard in push let's rename this to push and let's create an animation montage okay now it is if it is the first time so right how can we make a loop in animation from this I think it would be okay if we start the animation like from here also we have this notifier at 15 so let's use 0.48 as the start position and as the end position let's use 0.45 we will have to check back about this enable back foot IK later so this is 1.51 0 0.4 0 0.45 to Now we are not going to make this loop but we are going to use it inside the blueprint like this here 
ียลดมีคลาสดิสโซวิคันฮัมโอสเปซดิสิสมูฟไรท์และดิสิสมูฟฟอร์วาร์ดรายนั้นที่นี้เราจะทำอะไรดีเล่นแอนิเมชั่นทัชนี่คือนี่ส่วนแล้วถ้าเป็นแอนิเมชั่นทัชผมจะใช้นี่คือสเกตบอร์ดในแอนิเมชั่นทัชที่นี้ผมจะใช้เป็นวันที่หนึ่งเพราะว่า Uh, that animation should not be played until I stop. Um, finish one loop of this montage. Once it is completed, oh, and also. I should play this only if this move forward value is larger than zero. Because if there is no move forward input, I don't have to play this. I need to come when this is completed. I'm gonna reset this. All right. Now let's see how it works. Right and. I don't think we do. We need this. This is state anymore. Right. So I can delete this, but we have this enable back foot ik custom blueprint event called. When I go back from this pushing state to the normal uh, idle state on the skateboard, so yeah, and that is that has been used to re-enable back foot IK when I'm not pushing any longer. So we have to call it now. Oh. In a different way. So, how should we do that? Ah, right, right. Actually, if my move forward value is larger than zero, that means I should I should be you able to use that to enable and disable back foot alpha. Let's see how we set it. Okay, like this. Cool. Now instead of this, I'll use move forward. If move forward is larger than zero, enable back foot IK. Sorry, disable back foot IK. Otherwise, enable back foot IK. Sorry, this should be reversed because if move forward value is larger than zero, that means I should disable back foot 
i k alpha so this value should be zero otherwise it should become one right now let's see we still need to correct the loop okay ik is working fine right now we can get oh, we already got rid of that okay uh, now what so here is a problem if I remove my finger from the move forward button once I press it this happens which looks bad so if that happens we need to interrupt this montage so how do we do that well, no. stop montage but uh, I don't think there would be any use calling this again and again and I'm not even sure that if uh, if because every time I'm not uh, pressing move forward this is stop any montage this will be called could that be a problem I'm not sure so see now it's not happening and it doesn't happen at all why is that All right. The problem is here if I stop this, interrupt this, if this part is interrupted, then I need to reset this too. Okay, now it should work. See, now if I remove my move forward button, uh, if I release move forward button, it immediately stops pushing like that. It do the complete animation only if I keep the button pressed so now I still think we should reduce this animation uh, now let's add the montage notifier what if we reduce the time now that doesn't look good okay then let's add a montage notifier somewhere like here
okay here then I'll reset uh, no need to reset oh, yeah I think I have to reset this but this one needs to be removed otherwise there will be a problem let's see not enough let's move it further back right that's better and we have another problem now so because I removed this uninterrupted oh We need to connect it here. Right. Now it is working properly. Right. Also, I saw some comments about the front foot is uh, location on the skateboard is to uh, it should be a little back. It should be a little back in the boat, a little to the middle. So, how can we fix it? This is front leg huh? okay but if I move it back let's see if the problem is fixed if I do that right right now it's definitely in the back so yeah you can adjust in it to look correct Alright, so I think we can stop this episode for today. And as always, uh, yeah, I made 20,000 subscribers yesterday. So thanks for subscribing. And uh, yeah, as always, the project files will be available for download through the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.